I wake up. If I'm hungover, I immediately go to the bathtub and I lay in the bathtub for about an hour. <laughs> I play Angry Birds on my cell phone. <laughs> no, I normally wake up, I walk the dogs. I'm normally working, so I probably go to Friendly's and bartend. Throw a couple of games of skee ball when I get off work and maybe have a shot or two and then go set up and play a show somewhere. Pretty much my typical day. This morning I was grateful for the three dogs that I was snuggling. I knew that today was gonna be beautiful outside. Excited to have the windows open. When you're a young person and you're learning how you're gonna navigate your life and if you know go to college or what kind of career you wanna go into, a lot of times you feel like you've gotta do what other people want. You gotta do what your parents want of you or what people expect of you. It's just not true. You are steering the course for your life. Like you are the eyes, you are the emotions. Put out into the universe what you want, know what you want, and I believe with being grateful, waking up, knowing something wonderful is about to happen. When you have that vibe, when you're walking around the world and you're putting off that, it just comes back to you. It's so rewarding within yourself, within the community and the people around you. It's like a big release, like, oh, all right. Hey man, this is, this is me, this is it. I have a guitar in my hand. I'm a happy camper. Time flies and somehow having that guitar in my hand and playing music and making that a priority in my life has taken me to Mexico and has taken me on all these trips, taken me to Lou Fest and all of these like really cool opportunities that if I'd had a nine to five job and did the safe route, I probably would miss out on a lot of those things. It's a blessing. I could be naked and have no house and I could still like sing and somehow get a meal, you know what I mean? If I was naked, I had no house and was out there singing, I don't know what would happen. <laughs> Embrace your original music. Maybe it's not the best. Maybe it will be. Got to put it out there. Got to suck a little bit at first. Make a realization of your insides and, and put it out there for people with, with your art instead of doing what everybody wants you to do. <laughs> I had a really rough start, a uh, bad home life. I got adopted at 17. You know you have your pivotal moments in your life where it's like, man, that changed my course forever. I'll never be the same. We had a big upset at my house, and so I went to stay with my friend Allie for a little bit, and then they were like, hey, you don't have to go back there. I'm really grateful for it though. I know, and like I said earlier about being naked and having no home, I know that I can lose everything. I can be severed from my entire life that I know. I don't have that fear of losing everything. I don't have that fear of something terrible happening because it's happened, you know, and I survived. And I know my strength and I know resilience. I know resilience. I know when you feel like you can't breathe and you know, you've been abused for 17 years and you are learning how to interact with people and learning how to wake up in the morning and know there's not gonna be violence. I really see how beautiful just a regular life is. It definitely makes me appreciative of this glorious, glorious, wonderful life that we have and that we have the ability to create for ourselves. You surround yourself with good people, you know, be happy, vibe off of each other, <laughs> love each other, you know. I was definitely always singing at home, and they were like, shut up! Because <laughs> I'm like belting out Whitney Houston songs, you know, 10 years old doing dishes, and they're trying to watch TV or whatever. I think that that was always what piqued people's interest about me in school. My music teacher or my art teacher, I, I draw and paint. I would have those role models that kind of gravitated towards me, I think from hearing me sing or seeing me draw a picture. And it was always a way to bond with a normal adult. 
Also, when I'm, you know, miserable in my bedroom in, you know, junior high, I could sing to calm myself. I could sing to inspire myself. I would sing to myself in the mirror. I would practice my Grammy Award speech and practice my interview with Jay Leno. That never happened. <laughs> when I couldn't explain to myself as a kid what was going on, it was my release, you know. I don't want to cry, but it was my comfort. It was something that I knew was mine that no one could take away. So. No one could rob me of that, that was mine. And it's, and it's been my guiding force. You know, something that no one can take from me. I think no matter where you go, there you are. I didn't appreciate St. Louis like I do now before. I moved to Pensacola, Florida for two years in my mid-20s, and I was living in a condo on the beach. Had this great job, and I was just miserable down there. It was beautiful, the weather was always nice, and I just wasn't happy. I moved back home and I realized just how great we have it here. The culture, the museums, our music scene is fantastic. Female singers and musicians that I've met in St. Louis are just super inspiring because they're strong, they're badasses, they don't take shit, and they're really talented. So it's like, ooh. You can be anything you want to be, and I think if you are kind to others and if you are grateful for what you have, you are brave enough to take opportunities that will further you even if they're really scary. The universe sees that and it guides you somehow. Maybe you're just vibing off of other positive people, but next thing you know, like this little Hoosier kid that grew up in a trailer with a mullet is in Mexico playing music on the beach. Like, create it for yourself with positive thoughts and make that choice and you make that choice over and over and over again until you look around and you're like, holy shit, this is an awesome life. I just wanna make a life in St. Louis I, I just wanna find some time to be good to you I just wanna always be kind and free singing on the same old streets in South City Don't change We still have it made Inside